that's what cost us the game. Um, the most important thing for us is to come back, stay focused, be as a team, and show different qualities that we have, and be more aggressive in every department, and we'll be fine. I've totally believe in the, in the boys, uh, the staff are working really hard, and I know that tomorrow will be a, a really good day for us and for Ghana, so I'm really confident and yeah. Push it. C'est que ça va être très compliqué. Et on est le Ghana, on est dans une période un peu compliquée, mais ça fait partie du foot, il faut se battre, il faut se relever, il faut se battre. Et je pense que avec les joueurs qu'on a, on peut poser des problèmes à n'importe qui. Alors il n'y a pas de, de souci à se faire. Faut, demain, il faut aller sur le terrain, il faut gommer les erreurs qu'on a faites auparavant et se battre et tout donner pour avoir un bon résultat. I mean, the question was, what is the state of the spirit of, of the Black Stars after losing this first game uh, for, the, for the second game? I'm sure uh, Jordan will say they're ready, they don't have a choice, they've done certain mistakes from the first match, they have to correct those mistakes and be ready for this match. And you can trust him, uh, they're ready, they're prepared for it and they're ready to play and uh, go further in this competition against Egypt. A lady. My name is Lauren Shelley. I work for the Ghana Broadcasting Corporation. My question is to the coach. Um, you had a very bad um, time with the national team. I would want to know mentally and psychologically how how you are dealing with whatever is going on around the team. La question est très personnelle, Monsieur le Coach. Vous avez eu de très, passé de très mauvais moments au lendemain de cette défaite euh, avec le, les Ghanéens. Mais je voudrais savoir aujourd'hui, que ce soit psychologiquement et mentalement, dans quel état d'esprit vous êtes. Est-ce que vous êtes assez armé pour pouvoir faire face à tout cela mm. uh, my, my emotions are normally the same as the, the players when we we uh, lose a game it's uh, always difficult always because you go into every game you plan every game and um, if you don't get the outcome that you want it's it's difficult les émotions sont toujours pareilles euh, moi et les joueurs en cas de défaite parce que quand vous perdez un match vous n'êtes jamais bien vous n'êtes pas forcément content donc euh, euh, émotionnellement j'ai toujours le même feeling que mes joueurs quand nous perdons un match uh, but this is uh, always part of the game. Mais cela fait partie du jeu. It's it's normal. You you will have some players that play at clubs that um, win most of their games. You will play. You will have some players who play at clubs that um, that don't win most of their games. Vous avez dans une sélection certains joueurs qui jouent dans des clubs qui gagnent la plupart de leurs matchs, comme vous avez en sélection d'autres joueurs qui sont dans des clubs où ils ne gagnent pas beaucoup de matchs. Yeah, but as a as a coach, what is always uh, on my mind is, is that after a either either a bad performance or a bad result, en tant que coach, ce que j'ai tout le temps l'esprit, quelle que soit la situation, si c'est une bonne euh, performance ou une mauvaise performance, yeah, I am the the person, I am the leader that has to be able to. to je suis le, le, le responsable, je suis le leader to concentrate on preparation for the next game. Qui doit inciter tout le monde à être concentré sur le match suivant. And the, the important thing is, is that after any bad performance or result, you have to 
put that in the past and mentally prepare yourself um, for the next game. C'est pour cela que après une grande performance, il est important d'oublier cela et de se concentrer sur l'essentiel pour le match qui va suivre. Thank you. Questions. Congratulations on the last score. I'm Salasi Shawi and Sahara Football. Excuse me, what do you say, sir? <laughs> on the first loss, I said commiserations. You said what? It's okay, it's okay. Let him continue. You want to translate? Congratulations for the loss. You want to translate? Like sympathize. Like sympathize. Oh, commiserations, okay. Okay. So in the first game, you persisted with the Richard Foe, despite him not getting much play time. Did he impress you enough to be in contention for the second game as well? Definitely. Um, I, I, I think anybody, uh, anybody watching the first game, um, uh, I think would have seen um, Richard making two very important saves for us, and um, this is what we expect from uh, any of our goalkeepers. Um, and what we always have to assess. We always we have three goalkeepers with us, and we have a, a very good goalkeeping coach that um, mostly everybody here would be aware of. And we, in conversations, in the training, preparation for the game, we, we will make decisions. Um, but I think, as regards his personal performance in in the first game, uh, yes, I think we were um, uh, grateful for certainly two good saves that he, that he had to make and this is the role of uh, any goalkeeper that plays in any team. La question concernant le gardien de l'équipe du Ghana et sur sa performance et moi je pense que se basant sur ce qu'il a fait il, a, il nous a quand même beaucoup sauvé mais nous sommes en train de discuter nous avons de très très bons gardiens qui peuvent chacun être valable dans le but et nous avons surtout un très bon entraîneur de gardiens qui travaille avec eux donc nous sommes encore en mode réflexion Et la, les décisions qui devraient être prises par rapport au match seront prises à temps. Questions Il est fort. Il est un bon. Mon nom est Koko Zoro. Il est un bon. Il est un bon. Coach, vous avez entendu une attaque sur vous après. The loss to keep it. Can you walk us through the series of events that occurred at the TV hotel and which we saw some people saw? Um, so, uh, what I do is I, I very much appreciate um, the question and I also very much appreciate the levels of support um, that, uh, that I've had. Um, but I, in a press conference here where I think we're looking forward very much to the next game. I think that is something that is very much in in the past. I think it's had a lot of uh, media uh, coverage and say so I thank everybody for the messages and messages of support. Um, but I think probably today is a day to very much look forward, look forward to uh, a very competitive game that we uh, have um, tomorrow. Um, but again, I understand the question and I thank everybody for, for their support. En fait, j'ai bien compris votre, votre question et je remercie vraiment tous ceux qui nous ont soutenus par rapport à cette situation assez compliquée. Mais pour nous, le plus important, c'est « Please, guys, can we have a press conference? We cannot do two press conferences, please. We, show, we must show some respect for the other people. Thank you. » Donc, le plus important pour nous, c'est de concentrer sur le match de demain et de travailler par rapport à cela. J'apprécie vraiment tout le soutien venant des médias, de, du public et par rapport à, à notre situation. Nous en sommes très conscients et cela nous donnera beaucoup plus de force pour mieux aborder euh, la, le match de, de mes contre l'Egypte. La chose. Merci. Mon nom est Charles Epson, freelance from Ghana. Of course, Chris, you acknowledge the strength of the Egyptian team. In Ghana, we have tomorrow's win at all costs. Please, have you identified any short force within your system that you can exploit to get a message with the people? Mm -hmm.
Okay, so just to be clear on the question, I think the question is, is um, have we uh, identified any weaknesses in uh, our opposition um, tomorrow? Okay, so our, uh, what, what we know we are up against, we're up against um, a very good, experienced uh, team that, of course, are used to doing very well in this uh, competition. You know, our, um, our responsibilities are, um, and I know we speak about um, looking forward, but our responsibilities are to assess in our last game where we should have done better, the areas that we should have done better and to make sure that we can improve going into the next game. Our level has to be higher. We are um, playing on paper, on paper, a, a very good side, a better team. So we know that our levels have, have got to be better. Alors, la question est de savoir est-ce que nous avons identifié des points faibles dans cette équipe d'Égypte Écoutez, je, je sais que c'est une équipe euh, qui est très très forte, une équipe très compétitive. Pour que nous soyons à la page, c'est à nous d'élever notre niveau. Sur le papier, c'est vrai que nous avons peut-être certainement une meilleure équipe, plutôt beaucoup plus de joueurs, mais ça dépendra du niveau auquel nous allons jouer ce match, euh, comment nous allons euh, procéder dans l'approche de la rencontre. C'est que sur ça que nous pourrons faire la différence sur ce match-là. Mais l'Egypte reste une très très grande nation de football à l'époque présentée et c'est une très 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 grande équipe. Euh, une question pour le joueur Jordan Ayou. Une question pour Jordan Ayou. Oui, oui, moi. Une question pour Jordan. Bonjour, je suis Sabu Kwaku, journaliste à Fatalité Matin. Ma question est à Jordan. L'Egypte est une grande équipe qui joue à côté de nous. Quel est l'état d'esprit entre eux, joueurs Comment ils se galvanisent entre eux face au groupe de Mossala ici Le question est pour Jordan. En tant que joueur, comment vous motivez-vous pour être capable de donner un équipe de tough opponent à la team de Mossala D'abord, bonjour. Um, écoute, uh, uh, c'est mis dans un peu en difficulté nous-mêmes, euh, on n'a pas le choix par avoir le résultat demain. Alors on est tranquille, on est préparé, on sait tout ce qu'on a à faire et demain on sera, on sera prêt pour le match et on va tout donner pour avoir un résultat demain. J'ai confiance au, à mes joueurs parce qu'on est vraiment motivé pour, pour bien représenter le Ghana. Merci. Hey, you've not translated. Oh, so, so, sorry, guys. I was. Uh, you should have made him speak in English. I'm so in English because I was speaking to the coach. Jordan, can you please just answer the same question in English because I was talking to the coach. Okay. Um, <coughs> one that, yes, one the one of the lady. Well, um, obviously tomorrow is going to be a tough game. Um, the boys were ready. We put ourselves in there our own selves in, a, in this situation, so we need to come out of it and you know, you never know in football, so tomorrow we we'll, are ready, we'll give our best, we'll fight, we'll represent Ghana as well as we can, put in a better performance as a team and hopefully tomorrow everyone will be happy. Okay, allez-y. Bonjour coach, bonjour Jordan. Alors, Jordan, demain c'est un grand match. Présentez-vous, monsieur, s'il vous plaît. Charles Johnson, pardon. Charles Johnson, leader en faux bureau. Jordan, l'espoir de tout un peuple repose sur vous et cela dépend de ce match de demain. Alors, en tant que cadre de l'équipe, quelle sera la clé de nous pour gagner face à l'Égypte Monsieur Jordan, the hope of the Ghanaian nation is on you guys, you players of Black Stars, and you as part of the key players of the team. How do you go? What you gonna do to make it happen tomorrow for the Black Stars? Um, en français, non. Um, d'abord, euh, écoute, ça va, ça va pas être facile, ça va être un match compliqué, mais on a des atouts pour avoir un bon résultat et c'est ce qu'on va faire demain. On va aller sur le terrain, on va donner le meilleur de nous-mêmes, on va élever nos, nos, notre niveau de performance et Inch'Allah, demain, ça sera un bon jour pour nous. Um, tomorrow, obviously, it's going to be a tough game. It's not going to be an easy game. Um, I 
as, as, as a team, as players, we are, we are ready for the challenge and you know we, we have to believe in ourselves that you know, we, can, we can have a good result and you know we, we just need to keep on pushing hard. It's not easy but we need to force the luck and to force the luck we need to work hard, we need to fight and tomorrow we are ready to fight, we are ready to give everything, we are ready to give our blood on the pitch and that's what we are going to do. Okay. Uh, on the back, the lady on the back. <laughs> My name is Melinda Samata from Mozambique. Come in a little bit. I come from Ghana. My name. Um. My question goes to the coach. Coach, I want to know the relationship between you and your employers and the uh, players as well. The reason why I'm asking this is because on the field of play. I don't see that telepathy between you and the players. Uh, is it that cordial? Let's know today, please. Euh, ma question va directement au coach. Coach, euh, c'est par rapport à, ces, à vos rapports avec votre employeur, mais également vos joueurs. Parce que sur le terrain, j'ai pas l'impression qu'il y a une vraie connexion entre vous et les joueurs. Qu'est-ce que vous en pensez <laughs> oh, okay. So um, uh, I think I think I understand the the question. Uh, my role as the coach um, during the game during the game is to to analyze, um, to speak with my coaches that were uh, with me to. Um, analyze what we see on the pitch and to give this information to the players predominantly predominantly in the preparation to the game before the game and half time and what will happen is during the game there will be periods and moments during the game where you are able to get over to the players some additional uh, information some information is difficult to get over when you have a large crowd and it's a noisy atmosphere sometimes vocally for something you want to get over to the players it's it's always difficult but this is not this is not me this is for every coach every coach particularly every coach that plays in a big stadium and a big atmosphere so we use the moments of the game to to get over the information to the players that we can and we can only do it in their moments because I say because of the atmosphere so as regards to being able to get over any messages I need to get over then um, yes I will do this as best as possible and as regular as possible and uh, this would be no different to um, any coach in uh, any team. En tant que coach mon rôle est d'analyser le jeu sur un point de vue tactique et avec aussi mes, mes autres coachs, mes assistants coachs, pour pouvoir donner des informations supplémentaires et additionnelles à nos joueurs afin qu'ils puissent faire la différence sur le terrain. Mais vous savez que sur le, et, et ça c'est un travail qui doit être fait en année. C'est ce que nous faisons en tant que coach et ce sera notre rôle. Et sur le terrain, une fois qu'ils sont sur le terrain qu'ils jouent, on essaie de leur donner le maximum d'informations additionnelles pour leur permettre de rectifier les tirs quand ils veulent rectifier les tirs. Mais vous connaissez avec moi que Dans un stade plein, c'est très difficile de se faire entendre par les joueurs parce qu'il y a du bruit, ça crie et, et, et on n'a pas forcément le, moment, euh, euh, le bon moment pour parler aux joueurs. On en profite quand il y a des petits breaks pour pouvoir leur parler, leur donner ces informations-là. C'est ça le rôle des coachs et, et, et c'est ce que nous essayons de faire au maximum. Je, peux vous, je puisse vous rassurer que nous ferons tout notre mieux pour donner à nos joueurs toutes les informations nécessaires à mettre en avant pour gagner cette partie. You lost uh, that was a which was against Kevet, which was a big surprise for everybody. But how did you prepare to be able to win against Egypt? Un coup déjà dans le foot il n'y a pas de petites équipes. Depuis quelques années on sait tous qu'il n'y a pas de petites équipes. Maintenant écoute c'est la situation qu'on est maintenant. 
on peut pas y revenir. Alors, il faut regarder vers l'avant, il faut rester positif, il faut lever la tête, il faut se battre et il faut forcer, faut forcer la chance. En ce moment, les choses ne vont pas dans l'autre sens, mais il faut, vous savez, il faut continuer à se battre, il faut, il faut jamais abandonner. C'est ce qu'on va faire avec les, les gars. Well, um, obviously, there's in football, there's no small nation anymore, and uh, we all know that for the past couple of years now. Listen, we, that's the situation we are in now. We cannot change it. So the only thing we can do is to look forward and to look forward. It's the game tomorrow, and tomorrow we're going to go on the pitch with determination, fight, good team spirit, and elevate our performance to, to give it a go and we'll see what happens after the game. Okay. Yeah, in the back. White shirt. That black shirt. Yeah. And it's a question for the coach. Uh, could you give us an update on Mohamed Kudu? <laughs> so you make them know they see you. <laughs> guys, please guys, if you don't follow the press conference, let us walk, please. Thank you. Go ahead, sir. Sorry. Start again, Patrick Julia, Sports Business 5, France. Uh, coach, please could you give us an update on Mohamed Kudu? Could you play tomorrow? Um, so, just a, an update on uh, Mohamed, uh, Mohamed Kudas is, uh, as most uh, are aware, he joined um, camp later than, um, than anybody else because of uh, an injury that he sustained in his last game for, for West Ham. Uh, we will continue to assess him. We, we have today and uh, tomorrow morning to assess. He has trained, he has trained the last, uh, the last few days. Um, but we will assess him, as I say, today uh, and tomorrow and make, uh, make a decision tomorrow. My question was to know if you could give us a report on the state of the injury of Mohamed Kudos. The answer of the coach was to say that Kudos is certainly the last player who has joined in the stage and that he will be able to play with his club de, de le Stam, and he has almost been injured. But we continue to follow him. Mais nous continuons à le suivre, nous le suivons de très très près. Il s'est entraîné ces derniers jours avec nous, mais cela ne nous empêche pas de suivre l'évolution de sa blessure. Une décision sera prise très certainement euh, avant le match de, de demain. Nous saurons s'il est en mesure de jouer ou pas. Questions Yeah. Yes. Question. Joyce. Many Ghanaians have questioned your game plan. Or your game model. I know you prefer to go in with a double pivot, but in our first game, you use um, one pivot, and they still didn't work. Um, are you going to change it? Are you going to use a different one, or you stick to the previous one? Um, I think these, these, um, yeah, these are always uh, decisions that you make re regarding the players that you have, and of course the the opposition that um, that you are um, up against. Um, yes, we we changed um, personnel in the in the first game to a player that um, is a more offensive type player. Um, but these are the requirements that we have regarding the players that um, that are always available, and um, so it's two, two one. It's 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 picking a team with the strengths that we have and the players that are available. And then the second part is always the opposition and um, how we feel that is the best way to play against the opposition. So these are always decisions and planning that, uh, that we make. And this is something that's always done with myself and my technical team over a period of time and uh, analysis of our last game and analysis of, of course, the opposition that we play. La question était, vous avez choisi de jouer qu'avec un, un seul pivot lors de ce match-là Est-ce que vous allez rester sur la même logique ou vous allez changer cette, cette option En fait, euh, ce genre de, de questions répondent certainement à l'équipe que nous, nous avons d'abord en face de nous, mais également les joueurs dont, qui sont disponibles pour qu'on puisse euh, constituer l'équipe. Euh, cela dit, nous, 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 travaillons, euh, nous avons travaillé là-dessus, nous nous donnerons le temps d'analyse sur toutes les situations pour voir Qu'est-ce qu'il nous faut Lors du premier match, nous avons décidé de jouer avec un milieu euh, défensif, mais qui est très orienté vers le jeu, le jeu vers l'avant. Mais cette fois-ci, euh, c'est peut-être une autre équipe, c'est une autre situation. 
Nous sommes en tout cas en phase d'analyse et de préparation et au moment opportun, c'est-à-dire demain, nous apporterons la réponse qui doit Prochaine. Et on est back. Plus chante. My name is Chris from Nigeria. Jordan, I'm considering the results of Ghana in recent years. Is it safe to say that for eventual, if your team crosses out of the art from the group stages, is it safe to say that the generation of footballers have failed Ghana as a nation? Are we disqualified yet? Oh, we are not, so you cannot say it. When we are disqualified, then you can speak. Thank you. Here. Finally, yeah. My question goes to Chris Beauty. Um, I was going through the statistics since 1992, and I realized that Ghana has lost just once in its second game in the history of the African Cup of Nations since 1992. Is this something the technical team is aware of and it is part of your conversations heading to tomorrow so that this group of players will be the first group that ends their record which has been there for 32 years? Mm. Well, well uh, firstly, I, I uh, kind of um, the expression, I have an expression, hopefully this is a good omen, that, um, that the Black Stars in this uh, same position throughout the years have been able to come through victorious in the, in the second game. Um, it is something that I am aware of, um, but I think the, the, the biggest the biggest motivation for the players uh, is that um, we are here. We didn't get the result we needed in the first game. This is the motivation we need for the second game. We want to do well in this competition. This is the motivation that we need for this game. Uh, we are up against a big team, successful team in, in Egypt. This is the, the motivation and, and probably more than anything is um, we are aware of expectations. We have a, a, a wonderful support behind us and, and always do. And um, there isn't uh, one player in the squad and uh, Jordan's here having played in AFCONs before and represented Ghana for so, so many years. There isn't one player in this squad that isn't aware of what this game means and um, they are the biggest motivations that we can give to the players. Alors, nos joueurs sont très très motivés, ils ont de l'expérience, ils ont joué plusieurs euh, Coupes d'Afrique pour certains d'entre eux, notamment pour Jordan Ayou. Mais donc c'est pour vous dire que, quelle que soit l'issue, nous mentalement nous sommes prêts et c'est notre rôle de coach de pouvoir les accompagner sur cela pour pouvoir être euh, très très bon et très performant. Nous n'avons pas le choix sur ce match-là, nous avons un objectif, un impératif de victoire pour pouvoir nous relancer dans le tournoi et dans la compétition et c'est à cela que nous avons travaillé pendant ces jours-ci et nous espérons le transmettre demain sur le terrain. Je vais prendre deux dernières questions. I will take two last questions and then we we'll finish it. Yes, sir, here, in the front. Well, good afternoon, coach. My name is Afanko Kofi from Singapore TV. Your colleague from Egypt just told us they are playing the final tomorrow. We are working towards that. How important is the game to you tomorrow and would you continue with Ghana after this competition as coach of Masters? Thank you. Coach, votre collègue euh, égyptien vient de dire euh, euh, avant vous, dans cette salle, que le match de demain, ce serait une vraie finale. Et donc, combien, comment avez-vous préparé cette finale entre les deux équipes et est-ce que vous serez encore coach du Ghana après ce tournoi um, so um, I'll answer the two questions um, backwards. Is, is that the the second part of the question is immaterial mm -hmm. because I'm here as Black Stars coach, um, leading the team into um, what is a very important game tomorrow, and this is the only focus that I have. Alors, ma concentration principale c'est de conduire cette équipe du Ghana dont je suis l'entraîneur à l'objectif de victoire demain. 
C'est la seule raison pour moi aujourd'hui qui va y. C'est sur cela que je suis focus en ce moment. And as regards the first part of the question in which um, the gentleman made a reference to uh, Egypt, uh, we are very conscious. We are very conscious of how big this game is. And um, uh, hence, this is why in our preparation we prepared the best way that, um, that we can. We know the quality of um, the opposition and we will need to make sure that we play at a high enough level to be able to get the result that we want. Alors, pour répondre à la première partie de votre question, nous savons qui c'est l'Egypte, combien cette équipe elle est bonne, mais comme je vous le disais tantôt, nous sommes assez bien préparés, nous sommes concentrés sur la capacité, nous avons la capacité de pouvoir jouer cette équipe égyptienne, et c'est sur cela que nous avons travaillé pendant tous ces jours-ci par rapport à ce match, et nous sommes conscients aussi de l'importance de ce, de ce match-là, et, et croyez-moi, les joueurs le savent, et nous tous autour de dans cette équipe de Black Star sont prêts pour cela, pour cette rencontre assez difficile demain. The last question. I'll give it to the Black Star jersey. The yellow. He said, no, no, I said, the white Black Star jersey. <laughs> Hi, good afternoon. Coach, my name is Emmanuel Bolsu from Media Junior. And I have two questions, one for Coach and one you for Coach. You can ask only one question, sir. Okay, Coach. If you have two questions, we give the opportunity to somebody else. Okay, then to Thank Jordan. you. Um, there's been a lot of concern um, in Ghana that players playing, coming for the Blast has a lot of commitment to when they are playing on the field. Um, how committed are you guys coming out when you're chasing some of fish? Well, um, first of all, I don't agree with that because and everyone that plays football is bread and butter and uh, everyone gives his 100%. Sometimes things go your way, sometimes things don't go your way. But I think um, we need to do more, that's for sure. And we are ready to do more and we are going to do more. So nobody should, should worry about that. And tomorrow is a big day and we know that it's a big day and we know how, how much it means to, to Ghanaians. And for we ourselves personally, we want to perform, we want to perform in this time. We, we didn't just come here just to, to visit Abidjan, we came here to, to perform well. So we'll see tomorrow and then we're ready, we're ready. And you cannot, I wouldn't agree when you people say people lack commitment or no, no one lacks commitment. Everyone is fully committed, just that sometimes things go your way, things don't go your way, but you need to force things. And tomorrow we're going to force things and we'll see after that. En français, Jordan, pour clôturer la conférence de presse. Je ne pas de ce que C'est bon C'est le vent C'est bon. Ok. Merci, Jordan Ayou. Thank you. Coach Chris. See you tout à l'heure. Michel, le best pour tout le monde. Thank you.